Um, so I know I posted a video several months ago about the floor plan. Naturally, things change as we started actually building things and framing out walls. We've decided to make some changes since our last finalized floor plan. First, we tried to pinpoint the things that were most important to us in the design of the layout. Um, number one was floor space. We needed space to walk around our dogs. We wanted as much natural light as possible. And finally, storage, storage, storage. We've spent so much time taping and retaping a floor plan in here. We've spent countless hours just sitting in here with a coffee cup and just staring. We wanted to be open-minded to change, and when you have less than 200 square feet, you can't really afford to settle. So, without further ado, here are the most important changes we made to our design. One of the biggest changes we made was the length and the height of our workstation. Originally, we had a bar height desk because we wanted a desk that we could stand and work at. We decided to go for a regular height desk so that we would have more window. Um, the compromise we made here is we have this little standing workstation here, primarily for Zach, because that was really important to him. And also by making the desk less long, we were able to make this storage area, which we've been calling an entertainment center, <laughs> and only because it has a little, we're going to have for an iPad to watch from across the couch right there. Another bonus to making the desk a little shorter is that we were able to afford this beautiful piece of solid elm for the desk. Another change we made, uh, we got a new wood burning stove, one that's a lot smaller. It's going to be a little more efficient, I think, um, safer also. And we decided to move it here by the kitchen. Um, one of the reasons we did that is because it's more central in the bus for heating. It's also going to be convenient to have it in the kitchen in case we want to use it to warm a coffee mug or even cook on top of it. Speaking of the kitchen, uh, we also decided to get a larger two-compartment sink that we found at the Habitat for Humanity um, and also made the counter deeper. Uh, the compromise there is that we had to make uh, the desk area that's across from that shallower. You'll also see that the couch is now a small L shape, which means a little more storage. Finally, the most exciting change that we've made is you'll, you might notice that our bathroom and our garage space are much larger than they were before. Um, that's gonna, for the bathroom, that's going to mean that maintenance for the nature's head composting toilet is going to be easier. Um, it means that we have more standing room in the bathroom. It allowed for a big old horse trough bathtub. Of course, there's a compromise, and that is we had to turn the bed sideways. But it's totally going to be worth it because we're going to have a ton more storage space in that handicap door area. So there you go. Um, here's a before and after of the changes that we've made. I can pretty confidently say this is the final design since we have actually started construction inside the bus. But who knows? Something might change. We're open to it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, and let us know if you have any questions.